Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to another tutorial from Coat Slice. Um, yes, so this is going to be a very nice uh, tutorial, um, is especially if you are um, uh, working with um, adding and removing widgets. So in this tutorial, we will be looking um, at um, a two-line list item uh, widget. So we will be um, adding these uh, widgets dynamically. And then also we will also uh, put in um, an event where when we double tap uh, on the widget, it will um, remove itself. Yeah, so it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a lot, um, and I'm gonna try to make this tutorial not very uh, not very long. Um, so if you have any questions or anything, please do um, use the comment uh, section. Anyway, let's jump straight into it. So what do we have here? Um, so um, just to explain before I run this. So what we have, we have a screen, which is the start screen. And in the screen, there is a button and a label. Um, and this great layout here. Um, when I run it, as you can see. Okay, just running it. As you can see, it's quite simple. It's just a button and nothing else. So what we want to do is when we press the add button, we want to add these widgets here dynamically. All right. So let's go on and um, create our widgets or our uh, the our custom widget. So from KVMD. Or two line list item. Okay, so we'll create a class custom widget. Okay, we can pass for now. Okay. Um, Okay, so in our uh, line item, what we're going to have, we are going to have a text. Uh, so we'll have text, and what will the text be? We can say title, and then it's also going to have a secondary, secondary text, which is going to be, we can say description. Okay, so what we can see here is that we have um, our widget, custom widget, which is created. It's a two-line list item. Uh, of course, if we want to display our widget, we can display it under our start screen. So, custom widget, just to uh, have a look at how it looks like. Let's save that and let's run and see. Okay, amazing. As you can see, uh, we have our our line item widget, which is this one here. Okay, but of course, when we play play when we press our add button, nothing happens because we haven't defined a function yet. So let's go on and define a function for us to add with uh, the widgets dynamically. So we can remove this here. Then instead, we're going to put the ID. Um, so container. This is where our widgets will go in or will go to. Of course, this is in our um, in, in our start screen. All right, so let's go on and put a function here. So what can this function be? Add custom widget. Let's, um, okay, uh, self, so custom widget widget is custom widget 
custom widget. So this is our custom widget class here. Okay, so when we press, when we call this function, what do we want to do? Self IES container. So this is here, container, right? So what we want to do there, we want to add, add widget. And what widget do we want to add? We want to add our custom widget. Okay, of course we have to call this function from a button. So on press root add uh, it's a custom widget. Custom widget. Uh, root dot add custom widget. Root dot add custom widget. Okay, so our custom widget will be added in our start screen. Let's go on and run and see how this works. Oh, I need to save here first. Let me go on and save here. Okay, let's run it now. Okay, let's add. Okay, as you can see, we are able now to add um, the widgets dynamically. Okay, but as you can see, uh, when we add more widgets, we can't really scroll down or anything. Um, so in order to put in some scrolling, uh, what we can do is we can add a scroll view here. Scroll view. And let's use an MD MD list. Okay, so that is where we're gonna add our widgets. So let's go on and run that and see how it goes. Okay, so we're adding a lot of widgets. As you can see, we can now scroll up and down. Okay, good so far. But what if you want like to call a function based um, when you click twice, maybe on any of these, um, in any of these uh, custom widgets we have here? Uh, actually, it's not really um, difficult to do. If you haven't checked my previous tutorial regarding adding uh, widgets dynamically, please do check it out uh, because I did sort of show that um, how you can add functions within your custom widgets. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to use a double tap uh, function. So on and touch down. So basically, when we touch our widget, we will define what happens. Okay, so if touch is, this case, double tap, right? So when we tap on the widget twice and self collide point touch okay so just to explain so what what we're doing here firstly if we double tap right and then by using self collide point if we double tap on this widget basically on this widget what what are we gonna do we're gonna uh, remove it to so self parent remove widget In this case you're gonna say self all right we can also print to verify if the widget has been removed 
removed okay so let's go on and run that add 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 okay what if we want to remove one of course we have to double tap double tap as you can see widget removed double tap widget removed double tap widget removed um, I know at this point you might not be able to see maybe if the actual widget that I'm double tapping is being removed uh, but I can assure you it is the widget that I'm double tapping that is uh, being um, removed there is a number of ways to check this uh, one way to go about this is um, let's create let's just for the sake of testing this out let's create another button here anyway thank you and this is it for this tutorial so let's create another button and let's call this add button 2 okay all right so we've created a new button and let's just so what we're doing now is we're just creating um another custom widget just so that we can check this out uh, we can just put in uh, letter s behind each of these you don't you don't have to do this i am just doing this to show you what um this does okay so let's also do this um okay oh wait 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 i think we also need to oh yeah i think it's okay yeah i think it's okay everything's okay i think okay let's go on and run that and see oh yes one more thing let's just do one more thing Okay, let's say this is title 2 and uh, this is group description 2 okay let's go on and run that add 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 okay as you can see as you can now see we are adding these different widgets right so when I double tap on this one, as you can see, it disappeared, right? Double tap, it disappeared. Double tap, it disappeared. Yeah, so that is how you use, uh, that is how you add uh, widgets dynamically and also put uh, functions within it. In this case, we are using the double tap function. Anyway, from Code Slice, that is about it. Please subscribe. I appreciate your support and have an amazing week.